we're well used to at Europol seeing how ransomware has become a major cyber criminal problem in the last two years, but we've never seen something on this scale, and that's because the ransomware itself has been co combined with a worm application that allows, therefore, the infection of one computer to quickly spread to, across other, other networks. That's why we're seeing these numbers uh, increasing all the time, and right across many different sectors, right across the world. I think the numbers are still going up. We've seen also uh, that the slowdown of the infection rate over Friday night, after a temporary uh, fix around it, has now been overcome by a second variation that the criminals have released. So uh, the numbers are going up. And I think you're worried, aren't you, about people going into work tomorrow morning after the weekend, turning on their computers and, and there's the virus. Well, that is a concern because the attack was launched on Friday afternoon, maybe deliberately, to, to catch companies when they had downtime over the weekend. Some of those computers might have been left on over the weekend, so the, the infection will be uh, worming its way across different networks. So for those companies that are not running on up-to-date systems, that haven't patched um, what, where they should have, they, they better make sure that they've done that um, before uh, people turn up to work on a Monday morning. And on Friday it appeared that this was an attack on the Na National Health Service, didn't it? But, th but you're saying this is a much, much broader attack on a huge number of organisations and businesses. Yeah, uh, essentially an indiscriminate attack across the world on multiple industries and services. And we've seen uh, the, the, the German rail network the uh, telecoms operator in Spain, the FedEx in America, Russian Interior Ministry, so right across the world, indiscriminate in nature, but preying on the fact, I think, in some sectors, such as health sectors in a number of countries, that they are especially vulnerable because they're processing a lot of sensitive information, very often on legacy IT systems that are not up to date, and the criminal knows that they can exercise a point of leverage by holding uh, health sectors to ransom because, of course, the implications of IT failure there, as we saw in England mm. over the last few days, are much more serious. So it's, it's a massive, I think, reminder to sectors right across the world, cyber security should be a top-line executive priority and you need to do something to protect yourselves.